I see this one. This is na na GP tank where they cut. Understand? If you put up for your back here, using the train small fish inside them. There are some fish inside here, but this ones they are blue stock. Understand? They are blue stock. Now you they put here. You understand? This one a backyard farming. It's just a small farm. It's not that too small. It's not that too big. Understand? Now backyard farming be this. So I get something. So I want to show you for this small farm now. What we we'll get here? This one now is basically on a overhead tank where they supply water to this uh, to this pond. We we'll still get um. We we'll still get uh boho where they feed them from there we we'll go put for pond you will see the piping as it take enter for the pond so i want to show you some things for this uh our small farm see this place this place now nah, because of say there is no too much space if you don't have too much space at your backyard you can also know how you manage and put some pond there it's lucrative understand look at this uh this small pond there yeah, or, or under the under the gp tank you can see so this thing uh, is just a concrete pond which is about 10 feet by 8 feet just say uh, because of space understand so i'm going to walk you through so look look, look at the ponds you can see the ponds this one is being demarcated after everything, I will still feed them. You will see how they are being fed. So look at some of the pond. Let me just show you. This is our pond. There are fish inside them. This pipe is coming from the from the overhead tank to supply water to all the ponds. And we also have a we have, a, we have almost everything here. This place is a the hashi room. You understand? We do hashing here. We can produce like ten thousand or twenty thousand fingerlings here. Then we we'll dispatch them to the ponds. You understand? It's just a mini mini farm. You understand? So let's continue and uh, look at the pond. Look at this one. This one is being demarcated. I will show you how this pond is being constructed. You can check on our YouTube channel. You will see some some construction we made there, and you can follow that process if you want to. And um, if you have an issue constructing or you want to ask us to do it, you can contact us. We can do it for you. And if you also want advice from us and you want to do it on your own you can also contact us we can give you some little advice we have been in this business for a very long time so i'm taking you look at this one this pond now look at the size of the pond it's very large it's about 20 feet by 20 feet and the depth the depth of this pond is um Five feet. You understand, and it can contain like two thousand fishes, matured ones. So with proper management. So this is the pond. So if you, for instance, if you want to consult just this one at your backyard, maybe uh, this uh, this uh, twenty by twenty feet just at uh, at your backyard, you can also construct it. Look at it very well. As you can see, it's built with uh, some concrete here. Look at concrete. He has concrete at the middle of the pond, round. That in its reinforcement. And each uh, at the middle, they also have a uh, concrete with rod inside. So if you don't reinforce it like this, the when this when there is pressure in this pond, it will collapse. So this reinforcement. That you are seeing so and like this is the one holding this pond together so that it will not collapse 
look at it this i'm at the back now you can see just take a, a good look at it you can see this this thing is concrete and you can see this metal here this thing is rod this one is at the middle this one is concrete look at it this thing is concrete and there's other blocks that went down to the base and at the base they has a german floor just go to our youtube channel and check how to construct a pond you will understand what i'm showing you this is just i'm just walking you through the farm there is nothing more and as you can see look at this this thing here look at this this thing is solar 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 lights what this light does is that when it gets dark the light will come up and some insects look at the other one there you can see another one there so when it gets dark the light will come up and insects will start coming and as they are dropping inside this pond this fish will be picking them it's also a source of protein for them and it's good for them so that's it uh, what i want to do now is just i want to just feed them let's see how how they are feeding let's just see get me the feed get me the feed let's see let's start from this side just follow me please subscribe to our youtube channel for us to be bringing you more if you need any advice you can still contact us contact us please if you have any issue this one now what we have here now is a blue stock look at them look at them they are very very aggressive we need them to do our action. Let me feed them so that you can see what we have here. Get the feed. Get it here. Get it here. Keep it here. Don't feed them. Give me. Let's see. Let's see how they are. They are doing. Let me see if they will come. Ow! Oh my God! I don't know what is wrong with you guys here. Let me see if they can come up.
Let me climb up so that I can. Let me see. Wait, please hold on. Okay. Let me have the fix. Let me check this one. Oh my god, I don't want my phone to fall inside this water. Bring it, bring it. I'm just checking them out. Also, I'm just giving them this. Let me see how they are doing. Please subscribe to our channel. Please. Okay, let me see. Wait, let me see this ones. Excuse me. Let me show you another one here. We have another one on top of here. This thing is a, a container, rubber container, GP tank. So you can see they are also there. <coughs> please subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Subscribe, please. Just to support us. That's the only thing you can do for us. Just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Look at another thing we have here at this backyard. We also have a, a cage. This is 100 capacity. You can carry 100, 100 pieces of birds. You can carry 100 beds, so you can have this thing at your backyard and also integrate it in your farm. There's another thing I want to show you. Just follow me. We have a snare farm at the backyard here too. Look at this snare farm, all of them contain snares. That one is another business in farming. You can integrate it in your farm if you are if you don't have it. It's also decorative. They don't eat much. They can save costs for you. And you can generate income from it. So they are here now. If you open this thing now, check one of our video online, you'll see how to construct this uh, snare pond. Or snapping.
you can call this net pen where they are being kept they have this net is to prevent them from escaping so they are here and they are inside the ground here now they like borrowing but this thing must is being plastered both the, both the, the inside so that they cannot escape or instead will not attack them from the ground you can see them most of them are inside the ground just watch the video you see look at that one look at that one is inside the ground there look at it look at them they are inside the ground light digging so most of them are there so please okay let me see if i can see some eggs let me search for some eggs okay okay i found some i can see some egg on this on this pen so you have to use a rubber spoon to collect the eggs so that they don't damage them hmm. after collecting the egg we have to bury them for incubation after this i'll check the ones that we have done before to know if they have hatched I see the, the ground is being is plastered so they don't escape so they cannot escape or ants cannot attack them from there so you need to plaster the ground very well so that ants like soldier ants another harmful ants so that they cannot get access into the where they are being kept I think there is no more egg remaining here now. If you have not subscribed to our channel please do so by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you get any updates or any upload from us still searching for eggs <clears throat> Let's check the ones that we have buried before to so know okay i can see it's like they are hashing already look at this look at this one they are very small and tender so you have to handle them with care let me check out that ones we have a lot of them being incubated there over 300 eggs are here now they are 
hatching already. So we have to be picking them like this every morning because we have to keep them separate. <coughs> I love B. Hmm. They're already trying to escape. Look at them. Wow. So. <coughs> We we'll have to start burying those ones now so that they can hatch. We we'll have to bury all of them and cover them with sand. Stay tuned. I'm taking my time to show you this in case if you want to. You have to handle them with care. You don't have anything much to do here. After after placing them like this, you have to cover them with little sand. Then you will start uh, spreading around them water once in every seven days. There is nothing much to do here. Some farmers don't know that there is money in snail farming. So we are trying to show you this. You can also add it in your farm. You will be surprised the money that you'll be making from here. They don't eat much. They eat waste, waste foods from the market. There is nothing much. You don't buy feed for them. You don't need to spend money buying like buy like fish uh, fish like another animal like poultry you don't need to be spending money on snail buying feed just go to the market and get some spoiled fruit from the market and be giving them at the end you still make profit without spending much on them so you have to have to cover them sand just light, lightly. You don't need to go bury them too deep. That's all. So what what next now is to just splash some water on top of them every seven days. You splash some water on them. Just four weeks, three weeks, three weeks, and they will just hatch. So there is nothing much. So we still have a lot of them here, a lot of the eggs. So please, if if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do and subscribe, so that you get any updates we are giving out. So that be the first to see our updates. Click the notification bell. To get you notified as soon as we upload new video. Subscribe to our channel for more. That's really support Thank we you. need from you. God bless you. Please subscribe. Bye.